When scouting canola diseases pre-swathing, there's a number of diseases you can be looking at. At 60% seed color change is a great time when you're assessing your maturity. Walk into the field, pull up a few plants, and we'll take a look at to see which diseases we got. Easiest way to do it is to look at all structures of, of the plant. Uh, start with the pods, move down to the stem, and eventually get to the root. For pod diseases, typically what we'll see at this time of year are things such as aster yellows and uh, alternaria. Alternaria, what you're looking for to determine whether or not you have this disease is uh, blackened small lesions. They could be just pinpoints or they could be in the shape of uh, footballs. And this is a disease that usually comes in later in the season. It doesn't cause much of a yield loss in Argentine type of canola. Sometimes you'll also notice at this time of year some uh, pods that'll be curled and those will usually be due to uh, insects such as thrips. Another common pod ailment is uh, aster yellows. And this is caused by a, a phytoplasma and it'll cause the, uh, the pods to not form correctly, uh, often forming uh, bladder type structures. So after you've assessed the pods, you work your way down the stem. And what we're looking for now is sclerotinia. And you can see the lesions on here, the plants. This plant here is fairly badly infested. And, and the way to look for sclerotinia is to kind of twist the stem and you'll get shredding and, and decaying of the plant here. And inside a lot of times are little small sclerotia bodies that look like mouse turds. Here's some here. And that's a sure sign of sclerotinia. The, the shredding is quite a giveaway. You won't always find sclerotia bodies inside. Sometimes uh, the disease doesn't get that far along in its life cycle. So you can see this plant was infected below the crotch. So the main, entire main stem and entire plant basically succumbed to the disease. And you can see the yield would be minimal. A, a lot of times you'll get just side branches that will be infected like this one here. And, and you can see the yield loss wouldn't be so significant. So it, when you see infection below the crotch on the main stem, that's when you can expect you know, significant yield loss. I think the rule of thumb is 50% of your infection level. So if 40% of the plants are infected, 20% yield loss, you can see sometimes that's variable depending where the infection takes place. And from there, we work our way further down toward the roots. So as we get further down the stem of the plant, we uh, get right down to the ground level and we're going to be looking for black leg. Um, you won't always see the giant disgusting canker on the outside of the stem. Um, so you'll need a pair of $20 garden shears available at any small town hardware store. And what we want to do is actually snip right at the ground level and look inside the stem for some characteristic blackening. If we're uh, prior to swathing, there's very little that will make um, the inside of the stem black besides black leg. Once we're a couple weeks after swathing, it can be a little bit, uh, a lot, it's a lot more difficult to uh, diagnose black leg. But uh, prior to or immediately at swathing, um, if you're snipping at the ground level and seeing the pith in the stem turning black, um, it's, it's very likely to be black leg. So when we're looking for club root um, prior to swathing, we want to make sure that we remember that symptoms can look a little bit different depending on what stage the club root is at. So you can see with this plant here, we pulled it out of the ground. It's still pretty green up above. So there's a chance that you wouldn't necessarily see any symptoms above ground. But when we pull it out, we can see the characteristic clubs that club root causes. These ones are actually quite firm. Um, and you can see that there's actually some normal roots here as well. So the plant is still getting some some nutrition. Now this plant here also is still pretty green from above but if you look down at the roots after pulling it up out of the ground some of these clubs they're not as firm as the other ones they're actually starting to decay a little bit and um, you have some fresh ones here and some decaying ones so symptoms can look pretty different. This plant here actually died of club root as well um, and we can see how the clubs actually just basically rotted and fell off. So if you were pulling this plant out of the ground as a premature dead plant, it would be tough to say if it was club root or not. Um, once you take a closer look, you can see how there were some galls here that basically uh, rotted and, and fell off. So once again, really important to pull those plants out of the ground and check them really carefully to know what you have.